Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. So, uh, we are in the 59th lecture of this 12th week in the course. So, we are nearing the basically towards the end of this course. So, uh, this week we have been talking about the various other aspects of uh, wastewater reuse and recycling. Okay. So, earlier we did uh, talk about the decision making system in the previous week and uh, week before we this uh, in the previous lecture sorry and this lecture we are going to talk about another important aspects when we go for the decision making or when we go for deciding over a, a wastewater reuse or recycling project so uh, is public perception okay. so this particular class we will be discussing the various aspects uh, that influence the public perception or public acceptance of such schemes. Okay. So, to begin with if you see the like overall uh, major challenges in the recycling of the wastewater. So, uh, there are we discussed this earlier there are kind of regulatory challenges, there are uh, then financial and pricing, there are uh, stakeholder, customer this thing. So, uh, this can actually be linked with public perception, there are policy regulation related challenges, then there are technological challenges, all these things are there. The important ones are the public participation which is uh, very important and because uh, it is not just participation, the perception of the public towards that scheme is very important. So, the public acceptance is actually a very critical barrier for the implementation of the recycled water schemes. Okay. There are both success stories as well as failure stories <coughs> in managing this public acceptance. So, there are uh, like places where this wastewater recycling systems are running uh, very well. Okay. Public is uh, happily using the recycled wastewater even for the potable water supplies. So, we have an example in the say Singapore new water system. Whereas, there has been cases where the public opposition has kind of uh, prevented these kind of schemes being implemented at various stages. So, this public acceptance that way becomes a major consideration for this recycled water schemes. Okay. And especially for those who are for actually which the schemes that are for portable uses. So, that is <coughs> that is very important in the uh, kind of decision making systems for the wastewater recycling projects. So, when we say the wastewater recycling often people think about that it is a big technological challenge there has to be kind of adequate amount of techniques adequate amount of funds available to achieve this wastewater recycling. So, that way there is like uh, particularly in the scientific community more so ever its general perception is that we need kind of economic support, we need technical support uh, to produce environmentally feasible recycling systems. Okay. But it has been shown in several cases that importance of this eco economic uh, feasibilities, technical robustness the environmental feasibilities are actually the secondary to the support of general public. Until unless we get the support of general public all this exercise may not result in anything. We may have a very like economically viable system, we may have a very technically sound uh, scheme for recycling wastewater, we can have an environmentally feasible project of wastewater recycling. But if general public is not willing to accept that, if the user community is not willing to accept those uh, accept or buy that water or use that water, this all exercise is of no use. So, that way when actually the implementation of wastewater reuse project comes into the picture, because uh, from planning phase, from designing phase, your uh, economic technical aspects, environmental feasibility aspects uh, are very important. But when it comes towards the implementation scale, in fact, the in several cases it has been seen that the public support or public acceptance takes the primary seat and all other things pushed back towards the secondary levels. So, irrespective of various scientific evidences, the public opposition 
can actually cause the wastewater reuse projects to fail and they can cause to fail before the implementation of the project, during the implementation of the project or during their execution, okay. even after their execution at times. Okay. So, uh, there has been like cases where a good amount of uh, money has been invested and towards the later part uh, like when the project is ready, people have refused to kind of uh, use that water or buy that water or kind of uh, utilize that water and that way the entire project uh, has been kind of decommissioned. So, uh, communities in that sense could actually be at times extremely volatile on these issues which uh, like uh, associated with the recycling and more so ever in the urban wastewater reuse project. Okay because uh, it depends on the type of uses also and uh, so in urban reuse projects and mostly the domestic uses if there are domestic uses involved. So, there are very likely cause of concern that some population group may lead to a complete rejection of these reuse schemes and when they do that the entire project actually uh, like uh, goes into the door drums. So, um, if we see the importance of public acceptance for the recycled water, so uh, there are several wastewater reuse project has actually been abolished due to unreliable community perception. So, what they call is typically a yuck factor which relates with the disgust that uh, how can we use a recycled water, how can we use a recycled sewage. Okay. So, that kind of uh, things comes into the picture and this has stopped several wastewater treatment and recycling projects in developed countries. We are not just talking about the developing countries or underdeveloped countries in many of the developed countries where people are thought to be more uh, educated and uh, those kind of things still like in the countries in USA, in uh, Australia all those places there has been basically uh, some projects being planned and uh, even at the implementation stages there has been opposition from the public which has led to uh, these projects being stopped. So, people usually prefer to rather uh, use harvested rainwater over this recycled wastewater because they know that harvested the rainwater is uh, kind of pure form of water may get little pollution pollutant during the harvesting, but it does not have that much of serious health concerns as uh, comes from the wastewater okay. and it is easier to understand the kind of flow cycle of the rainwater than the complex treatment procedures of the reclaimed water which we receive after treating the wastewater. So, this uh, acceptance depends on various factors okay. uh, this could be basically an individual perception, this could be a community perception okay. and it varies significantly among a gender, education, income groups, awareness uh, or those kind of thing the kind of information that is being dissipated okay. and most of the people all over the world generally would actually oppose the reuse of wastewater for drinking purpose directly. Okay, drinking, bathing or swimming purpose which are uh, kind of like uh, the contact uses okay. and they will be like more willing to accept the uses in the irrigation or limited contact uses such as toilet flushing or uh, uh, those systems. So, that way all these things actually uh, govern the kind of acceptance level of the wastewater. So, if we see the various factors that affect the public acceptance. Okay. We can categorize them into several sections. So, uh, one of the factors uh, like uh, quite a few things under the socio demographic groups will affect the acceptance level of the uh, uh, recycled water. So, say for age. So, age again uh, these findings are just based on some statistical observations, some surveys or some those kind of like uh, opinion polls okay. and there is no hard and like uh, fast scientific proof for these claims. So, A is the younger people are generally considered or generally believed to be more accepting to the reclaimed water uses. This has come across surveys also. So, uh, the 
people who are of younger ages are more believed to be pro environmentalist and they are more willing to accept the use of recycled wastewater as well whereas uh, the people of the older age groups are relatively kind of uh, it's it's more difficult to convince them to get ready for using the reclaimed water uses okay similarly if we see the gender aspects so men are more accepting of the recycled water than women okay it's again a uh, harder to convince women for uh, accepting the wastewater uh, accepting the uses of treated wastewater as opposed to the accepting uh, convincing the men education so people with higher education level have higher level of acceptance because they can understand the things better they know from where water comes how if post treatment the water is actually safe so they are very much like the educated people can uh, see the things and can kind of uh, get themselves assured that yes this water may be sourced from a waste water but post treatment it's uh, the quality is the safe reliable and fit for uses so that way they have a higher level of acceptance for recycle uh, water as opposed to the people with lesser education group income uh, if we see so higher income uh, is kind of associated with higher level of acceptance okay and uh, similarly uh, with religion so people who are not that religious are more likely to use recycled water religious people uh, have have like more higher level of reservation or higher degrees of reservation for using waste water or uh, recycled water for the uh, domestic applications okay so uh, it's across all the religions there has been several studies conducted like with the uh, hindus with the islamic people with the buddhist with the christians so uh, it's like th there have there are reports in the bits and pieces that some some studies has said that islamic peoples are having higher reservation for uh, using waste water okay uh, the buddhist are more accepting accept uh, like uh, they are more ready to accept the recycled water for their uh, even domestic uses but again these studies are just bits and pieces there is no conclusive evidence but this is for sure that the people who are uh, not religious they are more likely to use recycled water the religious people because of the religious practices and because of the uh, kind of uh, this perceptive hygiene and cleanliness in several religious activities it uh, like they are uh, difficult relatively difficult to convince for using the recycled wastewater for say this uh, study is actually uh, like with around 1000 uh, participants a survey has shown that if if you see the gender level so around 70% of the men were in favor of using the uh, like the kind of the question was how do you feel about mixing advanced treated water into the supply of drinking water so for drinking water purpose the advanced treated recycled water 70% of the men were willing to accept it whereas just around half of the women 50 52% of the women were uh, willing to accept that in the age group if you see so the people uh with age less than 35 70% of those uh, were in favor whereas again the older people with age greater than 35 there is uh, less number of people they were who are actually of the opinion that yes they are in the favor of using the recycled water for the domestic purpose so uh that was about the kind of uh, demographic factors now there are physiological factors again uh, quite a few of physiological factors that affect so there are uh, the first and foremost is the disgust okay which we are just referring as yuck factor okay so people say yuck i am not going to use this okay so that kind of feeling so the recycled water is that way kind of judged as disgusting by a significant number of people and this has been the major reason major force behind stopping several wastewater recycling projects in the uh, USA San Diego of the USA say for example in uh, several in basically uh, some counties of Australia so those kind of uh, like factors have been have played a very important role 
in uh, agitating people for opposing the uh, recycled water schemes. Then there are health risk and general risk perception. So, health risk emerges as a major concern which is related to again yuck factor that people are not sure of the risk involved with the recycled water uses. There are higher risk perception are related to the less acceptance of the recycled water scheme. So, if the risk is high they will be lesser willing to uh, the willingness to use is going to be go down if the risk is low that way it could actually improve. Then there is trust. So, trust in authorities to manage risk is considered a critical factor. Again if you trust your authorities, if you trust your water bodies, uh, water utilities that yes the kind of system they have, the kind of system they develop, they will be able to treat it to the level of drinking water and then they are supplying it. So, the health wise that wise the water is safe. So, this trust actually helps in reducing the kind of risk and improving the perception also. Uh, but places like if you do not trust your utilities, so for India if somebody is saying that okay, uh, say this gel board will recycle the water and will supply. So, people will have a very first question that okay, how efficient their treatment is going to be and what is the kind of uh, risk of failures. Okay. So, because the trust is probably not of that level which is there in uh, few developed countries. Then there is a fairness of the recycled water schemes to a range of target users, users is important. So, if let us say you are having a recycled scheme and trying to supply to a area a specific area and uh, some post colonies the utility is supplying just raw water. So, there will be agitation from that okay, why it is if it is that safe why you, you are not supplying there, why we are getting a larger share of this water. So, those kind of uh, kind of inequity in distribution or uh, may become a major challenge. So, if the supply is fair and equity uh, distributed equitably, it is it relatively will have at least those factors will go on. So, will may have a little higher level of acceptance. Then there is a belief in science and technology. So, if people tend to believe that yes, there are adequate amount of treatment technologies, there are like uh, efficient treatment technologies available which are being used. So, they will be more willing to accept the uh, recycled water. If they do not trust the technology or the science to produce the potable quality water out of waste water, of course, their uh, willingness to use that water will go down. Then there are environmental concerns. So, people who are pro environmentalist who basically uh, like uh, give due emphasis to the environment, who are concerned about environmental issues, they are more willing to accept the recycled water as opposed to the people who are uh, who do not bother much about the environmental aspects. So, for say this is a kind of uh, survey done in the Bangalore with the physiological factors for an example. Okay. So, if you see that lack of the trust in agency is uh, one of the major points. So, uh, just only 23 percent said that they are not concerned, but rest either they say they are fairly concerned, concerned or very highly concerned. Okay. So, uh, almost like two third of the uh, almost three fourth of the population were uh, having less trust or were lacking trust in the agency. The quality standard and performances again just 5 percent was not concerned and rest you see there are like uh, quite a few uh, percentage of population was uh, concerned. Uh, in uh, yuck factor or physiological aversion 21 percent says that they are not concerned, but that was one of the major factors as 28 percent of the population was very concerned about this physiological uh, factors. Okay. Uh, so, that way uh, I can afford to buy better quality water was <coughs> something which was uh, not a major factor okay. and health risk was another one where uh, just 2 percent says that they are not concerned, but uh, around 20 percent says they are very concerned and one third says that they are extremely concerned and then some others uh, were fairly concerned about this thing. Uh, it is basically the water availability and accessibility for which many says that we are actually not concerned the 40 percent large portion of people large fraction of people said that they are not uh, too concerned about this. Okay. And uh, 
relatively like 27 uh, percent although opinion that they are very concerned about the availability factor as well. So, these are some of the kind of uh, responses that way from uh, residents of the city of Bangalore. Then there are uh, management and operational factors which affect the public acceptance. So, uh, among this the some of the important factors are the knowledge and information. Okay. So, whether people have adequate amount of knowledge or the complete information about the recycling technology, the source of water and kind of adequate safety measures that are being taken care of by the utility. So, if they are more like uh, informed the users which are more informed about whatever is happening, the users that have knowledge about all those things have actually greater acceptance of the recycled water as opposed to those who actually do not know the system. So, their yuck factor that way becomes more prominent for the people having lesser knowledge. Okay. Then the wastewater sources again uh, people may be kind of attentive towards the sources of wastewater as a proxy of whether it is safe or not. So, uh, for say the grey water people know that okay, if you if they know that okay, this the water which is being treated is just grey water coming from bathroom kitchens and is not from the say toilets. So, that yuck factor level will also reduce the, the disgust factor will also reduce they know that there is lesser pollution. So, health risk or the overall risk is also reduced. So, there obviously the acceptance is going to increase. Okay. So, uh, Similarly, like if they know that this is as some industrial wastewater, so they know that okay, industrial wastewater may have lot of pollutant, may have some carcinogenics and all that. So, whether utility is able to remove that or not, so their like worry, their concerns increases multifold and it becomes more difficult for them to accept uh, the say that kind of sources for their potable supplies. Okay. So, depending on the source to source level wastewater sources the acceptance level will also change. Then there are treatment option. So, many people have a preference for natural versus scientific water treatment processes and that way the aquifer recharge is usually more preferred for recycling uses. So, if it has to be basically augmented to drinking water supplies instead of direct uh, potable reuse they prefer that you put it in the aquifer. So, that when it goes through that trial filter column there will be natural purification and by the time water is extracted it will be safer to use. Okay. So, uh, those kind of uh, then there are advanced treatment options also. So, if it is for reusable water they say okay, what kind of treatment option is being adopted whether it is treated to adequate level or not. So, uh, for say RO has a kind of image that it can treat everything. So, they say that okay, there is a RO unit at the end of the treatment chain. So, they will kind of have that belief that this water is uh, free from the contaminants, majority of the contaminants. Okay. Then there are pricing issues. So, people will be willing to accept a recycled water scheme if it reduces their water bill. So, if it is priced lower as opposed to the uh, kind of uh, the raw water sources. So, the acceptance level will also increase people will lot more be willing to use the recycled water for the lower prices for its lower prices. Then stakeholders participation. So, uh, many times what happens that the government agencies or the state agencies are forming a recycle uh, like water recycling scheme or they come up with a water recycling project they do all the kind of study by themselves, they design it, they start uh, kind of constructing the facility and uh, when they come to like at a later stage when they come to user that okay, we have now this scheme installed and we will uh, give you the recycled water. So, there the acceptance level will be lower people may get agitated that okay, we are not going to use it, we do not know what has been what has happened here and those kind of thing. But if the involvement of stakeholders particularly the public uh, side stakeholders is from the initiation stage itself is from the beginning stage itself. So, that public is aware that okay, this kind of projects are being uh, planned. So, what are the concerns of the public they can basically opinionate it at the beginning stage some of these may be taken care of and uh, like uh, the state agencies could actually uh, try to convince 
public from the beginning itself that okay this is going to be the safe and this is what we are adopting taking their suggestion inviting their suggestion so involving the stakeholders from the each stage in uh, from the very beginning itself will increase the acceptance level of these schemes then there are uh, various uh, management and operational factors okay so success and failure stories the stories of uh, success or failure of the waste of the wastewater recycling projects may respectively increase or decrease the public acceptance so if people know that okay there are like 10 places where the recycling is being done and people are uh, people are using it so uh, say they like society that way uh, looking after the other success stories they said okay when they are using we can also use but if there are failure stories okay it was implemented there and there was risk concerned it failed system people opposed it so they will cite that example and oppose the system in the like uh, uh, in their own city in their own domain as well so that kind of reduces the public acceptance that way then quality of treated water so uh, if it is having say negatively aesthetic attributes so it obviously its acceptance quality is going to be acceptance level is going to be decreased then type of uses is another important aspect so there are uh, higher level of acceptance for certain uses than others the potable water uses has the lowest acceptance among all whereas irrigating non food crops or recharging groundwater relatively has much larger range of acceptance okay, as a reuse applications then there could be regulatory norms so regulatory inform enforcements are there so people may be kind of if they are forced to use this okay so then uh, that way like because of these regulatory norms also you may see the higher level of acceptance and then motivation and rewards are something which can be uh, kind of increase the level of acceptance so if there are reward program that okay those who are using this this kind of uh, recycled water are involved in using this so they will uh, say get certain type of reward or uh, rebate in the taxes or uh, say reduced in their water bill or free uh, water supplies so then they actually can kind of uh, get motivated for using the recycled water and that eventually increases the level of acceptance as well so for example if you see the willingness to use recycled wastewater so this is an example from the uh, iran siraj iran for different uses so it can be seen that for purpose of the cooking and drinking the majority of almost 75 percent of the people got disagree okay and uh, only less than 10 percent got agree to it whereas uh, 16 percent had no opinion on that okay. uh, similarly if you see that like uh, other uses so taking bath almost 43 percent people got disagree with that okay uh, these are the kind of prominent uses for which people got disagree washing clothes again uh, close to 40 percent people got disagree with that whereas if you see for public uses or car washes or air conditioning purpose toilet flushing the kind of uh, more people around 80 more than 80 percent people agreed for these things air conditioning again 70 percent people agreed that way agricultural irrigation for uh, cooked consumption almost 65 percent and for raw consumption it was all uh, of the order of 50 percent people got agreed okay so that way there are like different level of agreement uh, for the different uses this is another example from the israel okay so again you see that uh, people were in general in general in support for say public parking areas for fire fighting for sidewalk landscaping okay for construction of buildings for uh, water closet flushings uh, office toilet flushings those kind of thing for gardening car washing air conditioning but as we move towards uh, say like lake bathing and those uses when it was asked so they had a lesser degree of acceptance okay so uh, larger people start opposing for uh, these kind of uses this example from california okay. 
So, uh, for drinking purpose very little only 11 percent of the population uh, showed the willingness to use it for cooking purpose 18, for bathing purpose 20. So, these uh, in swimming pool less than 40, washing cloths around 40. So, these were the uses which were not preferred. Then uh, if you see that uh, wa like watering lawns uh, or flushing toilets, majority of the people were willing to use the recycled water for these purpose okay? or watering fruit trees, watering uh, dairy fields, those uses were like 60 to 70 percent acceptance for these uses while for flushing toilet, watering lawns, the uses like more than 85 percent people were agreed to that. Okay? So, uh, how we can enhance the public acceptance? For enhancing the public acceptance, there are uh, like variety of things that can be tried. So, the regulatory requirements, so if there are regulatory enforcement, then people uh, as we were just discussing can increase the acceptance of the people. Rewards and subsidies are another things that government can basically uh, take as a step for enhancing the public acceptance. Then public awareness campaigns. So, make the uh, like as we are discussing that knowledge and information is another important aspects which governs the public acceptance. So, uh, like putting those knowledge in the public domain, making public aware with the systems, those things knowledge on uh, water cycle, the complete water cycle. So, as in the beginning of the last week's class, we discussed that actually water recycling is not a new concept. We are already doing indirect water recycling. So, uh, the when we dispose that water in a say water body and some downstream city picks that for its domestic water supplies. So, that sewage which is going into the river becomes a source of water for the uh, a downstream city. So, that way recycling is already there. So, we have to make people aware that okay, you are using this thing, it is not a new concept, it is just we are doing it in a better improved system. So, those kind of information or knowledge can actually increase the public acceptance as well. Then inclusion of media and women is very important aspect because women tend to be more uh, kind of uh, like repulsive towards using the uh, recycled water. So, including, including these women into these kind of programs, okay, including media which can kind of propagate the information, the knowledge or the positive attributes of the recycling schemes. So, that is going to be far more uh, helpful. Then control on the groundwater abstractions because when you have an easy source of water, so uh, surface water it is not uh, say feasible or possible for everyone to abstract surface waters. A river is going somewhere and your house is uh, say 10 kilometers away, so you are not going to get that water if it is not being supplied. But what people do that they kind of uh, can bore dig well and or put a hand pump or put a boring and use the ground water. So, if that ground water abstraction is controlled, people will kind of be forced to look for the alternate sources and recycled water could be one of them. Then technological advancement with demonstrative projects. So, if you demonstrate those kind of thing in field with the adequate amount of uh, technology in uh, involvement, so that way it could actually be helpful. So, there are as we said that there are various success and failure stories. So, success stories are Singapore's new water where it is being used for the uh, augmenting domestic supplies. There are Orange County in California, United States, in the Florida, in the uh, Windhoek of the Namibia. So, uh, they are kind of using the recycled water successfully. There are various failure stories also where these plants or the projects have been stopped by the public. Okay. So, public were not willing to accept the uh, uses of the recycled water like in the uh, uh, Australia like San Diego of the United States, Los Angeles in the United States. Okay. So, uh, the toilet to tap kind of campaign in <coughs> Tomaga, Australia and Los Angeles United States have actually been stopped even after the significant amount of contributions or financial investments has already been made. So, that way we have both the sides of coin and there are ways to kind of uh, con side, there are ways to uh, convince the people for uh, using the 
uh, treated wastewater which is actually the need of the hour, but this is going to take some effort from our state agencies and regulatory bodies as well. So, with this we uh, conclude this lecture here and in the uh, next class we will be uh, talking about the global practices what is happening across the globe in terms of say wastewater recycling and uh, reuse aspects and uh, we will see some of the case studies from that. So, uh, see you in the next class and thank you for joining.